You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox and KLOS. That was the Stooges. Give Me Danger, Little Stranger. And then we had from the same album, Shaker Pill, featuring um, James Williamson. He played on that album. It's a great album. Do we have a winner for the thing? Not yet. We do. We don't have their name. We don't have his name. Well done, whoever you are. And uh, here we are with actor Chris O'Dowd. O O O O D. Perfect every time. <laughs> what one do you like? Keep the first one or the second one? Neither of them are accurate, but let's go with O'Dowd. That's what I said. <laughs> no, it was not. Well endowed. Well endowed. That was my nickname in college. Was it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it was for a bit, but I think they were being ironic. Yeah. How did they know though? Well, I, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't shy day? about throwing it around. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing it around with your two fingers? That's right, yeah. Pinkies. <laughs> <laughs> um, and with Davey Holmes. Said perfectly. You like to be called Davey or Dave? Well, I'll, I'll take whatever you want to call me, but Davey is... Yeah, that's what we... people call you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And you're uh, you're the showrunner. I am. Of the, the series... Uh, Get Shorty. Get Shorty. <laughs> your favorite show. My favorite show. <laughs> Uh, I was surprised to come in here and find you watching it on your phone. I know. It was quite touching. I can't wait for next season. Thank you very much. It's happening soon, right? August 12th. August 12th on Epics. On Epics. Yeah. See, the reason I haven't seen it is because there's so much stuff to watch. I know, I hear you. I get lost, man. Yeah. No, we do too. This is the place to start. Find yourself. (laughs) To find your way out. (laughs) I mean... Do you get annoyed when people haven't seen it? No, I haven't seen it. I <laughs> I think it's I I don't get I don't get annoyed. I love the show and I think when people watch it they love it. So I want to bring love to people's lives. Yeah. So there's a frustration. Yeah. Um because I really want to make the world a better place. I know. Have you ever listened, have you ever heard my show Jonesy Every Jukebox? every day. See? It's the same day. thing. Every day, six till seven. That's it. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> on That's Epics. On Epics. <laughs> August 12th. <laughs> See? See, it goes both ways, you know. It goes both ways. It definitely does. And I don't get the hump. It's fine. No. It's all no, good. There is no hump here. <laughs> no, believe me. We had spent a lot of time humping if that, was the, if that was the case. No, I'm liking the vibe in here, though. You got some stooges going on. I like it. Only because you read that. It was Stranglers. The only because you read it was the Stooges. Yeah, that's well, right. That's it, what you've got coming up next. It, this is, hey, I don't hey, want to break. Good. I don't want to break the fourth wall, <laughs> 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 listeners. But everybody here knows what's playing next. That's how this works. Yeah. Um, you're in for a treat. They're going to put on the Pogues in a bit, which has something of a kind of a punk, while traditional aspect to it. Um, I saw he got new teeth. He did. He did. He got some new teeth. Didn't, I don't like them. I'm I liked them when they were it. dog ends. Yeah. I met him once, and uh, I met him at an awards thing, and his manager came over and said, uh, you know, Shane would love to meet you. And I was like, oh, God, okay. And I went over, and I, you know, was kind of waxing lyrical about what his music did for me growing up and all of this kind of thing. And it was a kind of a, it was an awards thing, so it was a black tie thing, and I had the jacket off, I was sweating a bit, and I was chatting and chatting. I was kind of waiting for him to say something, but he wasn't much of a talker, so I just kept talking. And then eventually he just said, um, I have a vodka and water. <laughs> he just thought I was a waiter. Oh, he thought you were a waiter. The whole time. And I, <laughs> a vodka and, and water. <laughs> a vodka and water. And then he did his hands like this to indicate a pint glass. Big one. Yeah, and that was what he drank. And so two things occurred to me, which were, it was really sweet that he let me talk to him for so long without interrupting me when he just thought I was the waiter. And also, now I have to go and get him a drink. <laughs> which I which I did, but what a treat! But why did the manager say he wanted to meet you? I think he was taking the manager the, was. I think was he was bullied. taking the mick out of one of us. Uh, I can't quite work it out. Was you was you known at this point? You must have been. I was on British TV a lot, and it was in London, so it wasn't it wasn't completely unrealistic that he might have seen something. Maybe he uh, already had a, a large vodka and water before him. If he had only had one, I'd be shocked. He um he was pretty shook. Yeah. Typical Irish. <laughs> they like bevies. Yeah, we Are were... you full Irish? I'm f- I'm full Irish, yeah. 
Where are you from? I'm from a place called Roscommon, which is over by Galway kind of area. Yeah. It's nice. Where are you from? Shepherd's Bush. Are you? Are you? Yeah, I used to live in Shepherd's Bush. A lot of Irish in Shepherd's Bush. Lots of Irish. It's looking, it's kind of prettied itself up lately. It has. It's uh, poncified. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here, though, 35 years. In, oh, good in, for you. In Los Angeles. It's nice here, too. Yeah. It's all right. What else is going on with everybody? We got... Uh, you know what I found out, though? Go on. I got 28% Irish in me, and I didn't realize that until I did that... Uh, oh, you did the thing. The, the, the DNA yeah. test. Have you done one of those? I have not. I'm, I'm tempted. That's nice. 28. That's a good number. You can manage that. Do you feel differently? Yeah, no, I'm good. I, no, I liked it. Yeah. And I've got some other stuff in it, um, that places I've never even heard of. Where, where else did you have in you? Um, somewhere down right in the bottom of uh, Spain. Okay. A little bit. I don't know what, maybe it was a pirate. I don't know. Interesting. Like Madagascar or something. Some we, weirder than that. Some name I've never heard oh. of. And a uh, bit of Scandinavian. Oh, Wait, yeah. how do they do? So, I don't understand how I it don't works. know. Maybe how do they it's a say whole specifically con. this part of this country how do they figure that from out? your dna i don't know it's, I, mean, I, I don't know i guess there must be different strands of dna like down by the down by the south See, coast this is where something. people with that gene yeah. all congregate i actually just bought those things like the 23 and me things i haven't yeah. i haven't spit in it yet um, yeah, all your all your relatives who are serial killers will get caught you know that's how they caught that is that right yeah you guys read that no what, tell what me What's the gold, Golden State serial killer? Is that how they got him? One of his relatives did a swab. No. So he had nothing to do with him, and they and they said, "What? Let's just check that and see if we let's see if we get a hit on that." Oh, I see. But they had done the swab to find out if he might be the killer. No, somebody. Let's say you're a serial killer. Okay. And you're, Not too loud. And your cousin. <laughs> your cousin does a swab. Uh huh. And they just check the whole bank, and they say, "Oh, there's an overlap here." Shoot. And then they, it's not the cousin. Well, let's look at Chris O'Dowd because he's super skeevy. That's a long shot, though, isn't it? Yeah. No, they said it was I crazy. I mean, do they, they put that much effort into it these days, cops finding <laughs> stuff? Well, it's, it, I think with the showy ones. That's, that's like a show. Like a, that's yes. something that'll be in a TV show, not, not real deal. This will deal. definitely be in Netflix next year. Yeah, you'll be doing it too, it sounds like. Well, we're excited. We've just signed on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that you've brought it up in such an organic way. But yeah. yes, that's our new show, The Golden State Killer, sponsored by 23 and Me. <laughs> Are there any other New York Times items you want me to sort of half regurgitate? I'm happy to do that. Uh, how do they treat your, uh, uh, what are they called? Flicks? Epics. 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 I knew there was an X in it. Yeah. <laughs> and an X. This is the challenge right here in a nutshell. Uh, how well, are they? How are they? They're great. We, Good we... people. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, not a good they're, they're, guys it's over a there. New, it's a new network, so that they're very busy. They're too busy to really st to yeah. stand on our heads too hard. So, do they have a ton of bread? They they're trying to launch a network. Like they ne just they just bought the network for one point three billion dollars. So, so they, they want they, content, content, content. They definitely need a whole bunch of content. Yeah, quality content. Yeah, That's of right. course. That's of right. Course. Yeah, August twelfth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even 100. percent Is that the right date? We just we just Googled it before we came. We in did. Here. Okay, <laughs> great. <laughs> and um, say like you had like Dish Network. That's what I have. Yeah. Or Direct. All good. What number is it on? Uh, no, this I don't know. Direct, it ain't on them. It's about to be no. on Direct TV. It's, it's on Comcast. <laughs> so people who watch it up till now have been watching it on the computer. From a yes, computer, it's not, it's, it. not, it's not an actual. But streaming is the is the way to go now, right? I mean, you know, my yeah. my twenty six year old uh, writer in the in the in the in the room, I said, people are going to have to download the app to watch it when we first were on. Yeah, mm -hmm. he said, well, like, as opposed to what? Like, what else? What yeah, else yeah. Do I don't have TV anymore. I don't like like I don't have. Uh, yeah, I need to get rid of my. I don't cable. have a cable box. Yeah, totally. Uh, do you think they're going out of business, uh, direct and dish and all that? It's going slowly because you get a thousand stations, and I li I watch two maybe. Yeah, and I've you know, I've wondered the same thing. You know, I for use football. that sling. Yeah, it's good for football. Sports. To be fair. Yeah, but you can. G I, I've got like a sling TV thing. Have you heard of this? Like an app where you can watch a bit of TV. It's great for sports. But it's like twenty five. And then quid. you just do the thing where you put it onto a TV screen. Yeah. Right? 
Yeah. Yeah, and it's it, it, most of the TVs that come now, it, it's like it's like plugging in a Apple TV or something. Yeah. Although I do like the Apple TV and have HBO because I like yeah going through all the shows on HBO Go. Sure. And Showtime anytime. I like to go for, you know, watch all the shows one after the other. Yeah, but and our show to... is a bit like that in that we're hoping to be, you know, the the Sopranos version of Epics. This new uh, whatever. I yeah. mean, it's it, you get to brand the network to some degree. You get to be the face of the network mm-hmm. along with the other one or two shows that they had when we were on. But it's a, our show is a lot better than the Sopranos. <laughs> That's why I heard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. Uh, you used to play drums uh, in the Buzz Tones? I, I played keyboards. Keyboards? Uh, for their first album, yeah. Yeah, uh, in 1989. Davey Holmes. Yes. On keyboards. Yes. And uh, you went on the road and all that? Yeah, I've been trading on it for the intervening 30 <laughs> years. Cause, yeah. Because Dickie was, yeah. when I was at uh, the other radio station, Indy, yeah. he, he, he was on there in the morning. He he came to set. He Dickie came to set and sat and watched Chris doing in doing a scene in an editing room, uh, which was probably electric, I would think. But anyway, he came and he came and watched. <laughs> he had no idea what I was doing. He came down and he thought I was just asking him to meet me at Paramount. I don't know why. Well, that's good. You, I mean, you went from that to directing. Did you want to be TV guy? Because that was a long time ago. It was you? a long time, and there was a sort of awkward transition period. But I, I would say I'm more comfortable doing what I do now than I was as a rocker. Yeah. That was maybe not, it wasn't such a good fit. The dough's probably better too, isn't it? Uh, you know, I have a lot of struggling musician friends in town. It's a, it's a, it was a tough time to be a, a musician in the last couple of decades. I yeah, think. But, yeah. But I don't mind all the way it's gone, to be honest with you. Yeah, that why end, is that? That end of uh, pompous record companies. Yeah. You know, but it ain't changed really. It's all gone to uh, Spotify. It's the same old con artist doing Spotify and and what's the other one? Uh, Pandora. Pandora. Yeah, it's the same old hustle. I, I but people pay money now. Yeah. To I pay ten bucks a month, and it's it's startling that the people I'm listening to aren't making more than a thousandth of a penny. Right. I, mean, I mean, screen, you know, That's my sc- point. screenwriters, we have a, we have a union that really, uh, hammers for us on, on behalf of us. And yeah. I, I, I still think every day is a missed opportunity for musicians in terms of finding some way to leverage. You know, I know it's historically, everyone accepts it. This, you just get shafted. That's right. the way it is. But, right. but uh, I'm, I'm amazed. I would think that to all together, there'd be some leverage to actually make an income off of music we're all listening to all mm. day. Is it too late? No, I don't to, think to so. To do that? But Jay-Z started talking about it. I thought, well, there it is. You, you're going to... But I, I don't know what happened to all that. You know, starting some new... In fact, like there was a minute there... Monetizing. As odd as it seems, when Taylor Swift was going to do a big thing about it. Yeah. Like when the, she, she said it, she's yeah. not going to be on Spotify or she's not going to go on the free version right, of these right. paid stations... I felt like it was going to be a big movement, and it never really transpired. No. I mean, back as far as I, I know and remember, the musicians are getting the short end of the stick, but you'd think there'd be a way to... I don't know. Jonesy, you know more about that than... Uh, stop stop me talking about this. You, no, you know. I mean, it's, what you're saying is interesting. I really don't know a lot, lot about what goes on other than what I just said. I'm, you know, I do this five days a week. And I've, no, I'm not really in the music business anymore. You know, I don't make records, really. I you know, play on occasional bits and bobs, but I ain't trying to be a, you know, a struggling guy or, or a band that's even known. I mean, live, it feels like from the guys I know in town, because those are my old friends. Are all, yeah. It's a live, live is the way to make a living now. Unless you're making music for film and TV, that's still that's that's a good gig still. We're getting it placed, yeah. And then I'm sure Taylor Swift makes money on albums, but I don't know how the average Joe does it. Yeah. So listen, happier times. You did a scene in a sewer. <laughs> that's a good. I could, that was a nice Some good recall. Yeah. I speaking of the current situation of the music business, we were filming in a sewer 
No, we were filming in a in a music treatment facility. What in a music treatment facility? <laughs> music, <laughs> R- music treatment facility is a great name for a band. Uh, in a water treatment facility down where was it? Down the coast somewhere. I, I didn't even. Know. I we had a whole location mix oh up. My but I I gracious. texted. I saw the. I saw. Oh, did screen, you manage to not find it? Is that what happened? I texted Ray to say, "Are you okay?" Because this I was seeing images. And he said, yeah, it's great for a place that turns duty into water. That was the (laughs) text back. (laughs) Ray Romano is in our show, and he's fantastic in it. He's a bit of a germaphobe. So (laughs) it wasn't the the ideal setting for him. They spent... spent a full like eight seven days. No, was it more than that? Yeah, something like, like two working weeks, I think. In a in an underground sewage treatment plant, uh, all twelve hours. That's what, that's about. where all the all the poo goes to this place. Apparently, yeah. And Down it, by what you call Del Mar. Del Mar. Cafe Del Mar. No, Mar- what is it? I don't know. Down past like uh, Venice. What's that? Down like, south. Big retirement play, place. Oh, I can't think. Placid, Playa, uh, Placid, Playa del Mar, Playa del Mar, Flacid, Flacid del Mar, Flacid Bar, del Mar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that should be the uh, nickname for it if it's, it is the big retirement yeah. community. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, they probably won't put it on the posters. But anyway, we were down there, and it was odd because we were filming in a basement. It's a big sequence in the middle of the season of our show where things kind of go south, and there's some interrogation happening and whatnot, and people are getting roughed up. Looks like somebody's going to get in trouble. And we were in a basement and the smoke machines. And usually in a situation like that, you try and get a break every couple of hours to just go out and get some fresh air. And you go out and get some fresh air and go, oh, it's that beautiful yeah. combination of ec- <laughs> the essence of excrement and its um, its chemical component. So There's no business like show business. We, we had a location last year where there were there were tampon applicators surfacing. Oh, God. It, it turned out it was on a an old garbage dump or something. That's we were right. In Albuquerque, New Mexico. And uh, this is another thing where Ray called to say, Have you been? Have you been down here? Yeah, a lot of tampons. A lot of tampons. <laughs> yeah. We all try and do Ray. We can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a lot of uh, menstruation down here. Now, was it meant to be a set in, uh, is it set in Vegas? No, it's set here, set set in Hollywood. It's oh. a Hollywood show. It's a- well, it started off in, in just outside Vegas. That's true. Fair enough. Um, yeah. And then we kind of, the, 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 the crew of people end up relocating to Los Angeles mm-hmm. because they're, it's a crime organization who end up producing films. Got it. We're going to play The Stranglers. Oh, beautiful. Down in the sewer. Okay. Or Duke, whatever. Who's Duke? <laughs> Big Duke, we're going to do some. Uh, some we're going to go. No. We're going to go down a jazz route for a second. <laughs> Duke Ellington. Yeah. No, I'll tell you what we're doing. We're going to visit the Duke. Great. The Duke of Kent. We're going to pay the rent. Ah, oh, sweet. <laughs> that's what that is. Ah, that's very good. We're here with Chris O'Dowd. Did I say it right then? That was ideal. And uh, Davy Holmes from the show. Get shorty. Get shorty on. Epics. Epics, that blockbuster place. <laughs> Take it away, son. <laughs> oh, it just really makes me need to pee the end of that oh, song. Jesus. I wish I was down in the sewer again. <laughs> <laughs> in a way. Um, we're here with uh, actor Chris O'Dowd. Yes? Yeah? More and more conviction every time you say it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Davey Holmes, the showrunner. Yes. How's it going? <laughs> Looks like good coke. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get through the day. That was the Stranglers down in the sewer. Uh, do you, was you, did you a fan of uh, music, rock and roll? You talking to me? Yes, sir. Yeah, I like music. Yeah. Who? Who do you like listening to? You know what? I went to a gig the other night. I've been listening to a lot of Sam Cooke and his gospel roots and things like that lately. And I went to this singer called Harmar Superstar. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he was doing a collection that was just, half of the show was just him doing Sam Cooke songs. Uh Uh-huh. And it was fantastic. He's got some good stuff. Yeah. A a white guy, right? Yeah, he looks like, I don't know what you would call it. It's retro-y sound. (sighs) Yes, very retro kind of a sound. Very kind of 70s influence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I thought um, it was seventies until I realized. Oh, yeah, his, his, and yeah. he's 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 like a real sex symbol on stage, a real performer, but he looks kind of like a substitute teacher. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, he looks like a kind of a normal guy, but it, it, the the show that he puts on is quite incredible. Mm. Did he, does he pull the birds in? I would imagine he does all right. Yeah, maybe we should get him on the show. Yeah, you should. He's great. <clears throat> he actually did. You, he came on on indie a, a couple of times I, I like that album that he had out we used to play that um, so let's talk about you again <laughs> <laughs> it's like being on Letterman <laughs> it's just very similar kind of a <laughs> just the complete contempt <laughs> <laughs> Preface by, well, I see you're still here. <laughs> Let's take some bad tasting medicine. <laughs> no, I don't mean it. I don't mean no, that. No, I know. I don't. Honestly, Chris, oh down. I don't mean that. Did I say it better that time? That was actually a lot better. I was going to let it slide. It was perfect. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting there. Um, we was going to talk about something, weren't we? We were talking about it when we were playing The Stranglers. It was a lot of our TV World, show, World Cup conversation. <laughs> we, <laughs> we talked mostly about the World Cup, but seeing that you keep insisting on bringing up the TV show, yeah. oh, I know what it was. I queued up a topic. It was, was an oldie but a goodie, which is that Chris O'Dowd is not known for playing heavies. Oh, that's right. And and uh, you know he's 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 made a career out of being deceptively sweet. And, but we'd heard that, in fact, he, in his personal life, is quite violent. That's right. So we thought we would harness that raw aggression, and, uh, and so our show is the result of that. But he's a comedian, oh, right? You, 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 I, you, I, I, please. You first. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an actor who mostly does comedy. Yeah. And... Um, well, this is... Well, this is that, dry, that this fills is me with comedy. confidence. At this stage in the interview, <laughs> I know what it's called. I don't need no stinking paper. <laughs> um, Jonesy, Jonesy had to write "Get Shorty" in huge letters on a piece of paper. I didn't ask for a paper with "Get Shorty" on it. it. Sometimes I forget to mention names of people on it. It's a thing, I guess. I don't say it enough for who's on the show when they're talking. And I'll go a long time without mentioning who's on it. So I identify completely with this this problem. So yes, you know, yes, David Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> and Chris O'Dell just said something. You know, when we were talking about music and people not getting paid, it, there is something interesting to do a film or to do a TV show right now, kind of about the film industry, where there's a lot of a holes mm -hmm. um, operating within it. There are people who are bordering on criminality every day, and for us to kind of skewer that in some kind of satirical way or funny way. Is uh, feels very prescient. Feels uh, like a nice time to do that, to poke fun at Hollywood um, um, while celebrating films, because those two things aren't necessarily the same. You know, we can love movies and we can love entertainment, and we can not trust the people who bring it to us. Mm -hmm. And in a lot of ways, that's what the show is about. Mm. Yeah, and there's some wish fulfillment too in terms of. If you've ever wished you could uh, go, you could use a, a little physical menace to, to get what you want in the world or to put somebody who deserves to be put in their place in their place. And uh, I, it's a kind of fascinating dynamic that on my side, I try and write and then I watch Chris have to embody, which is be menace yeah. and, and how people who really are those kinds of people you know, it's different from just going to the pub and picking a fight. Somebody who who is is about really making other people uncomfortable, or 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 getting what they want without having to get violent, but just with the the threat of it. Yeah, it kind of, I kind of get tired of all these movies with just quick edits and explosions and cars flying through the air. I, I, for me, I don't know if, if it's because I'm older, it just seems pointless. I completely mm -hmm. agree. Completely agree. It's something we. I mean, it's it's actually one of the things I'm proud of about the show is that we we try not try not to do that. Literally, we literally have car crashes where we try not cut to a million different angles. And yeah, like yeah. Is it? I, I don't want to compare it, but is it like Ray Donovan? 
there are similarities. I haven't watched an awful lot of Ray Donovan, but I, he's a kind of like a fixer in Hollywood, I think. Yeah, I think there's some plot similarities, and, and we, we're both fans of that actor and, and uh, the network as well. But, but um, the, we're, we truck in ironic humor, uh, whereas that's quite a serious show, I think. Yeah, so you, this season starts uh, Sunday, August 12th. Oh, is that right? That's a long way away. Yeah, but you can watch the first season in anticipation. Yeah. It's available on Epics, any of the apps, or you could probably get it illegally if you looked. Oh, we're, we're apparently a, a highly downloaded uh, show illegally. My right? family in Ireland have been telling me how much they enjoy it, and everybody I meet in Ireland has been telling me how much they enjoy it started <laughs> since it came out. Season on. two. Um, season one. No, it's I'm not kidding. on in Ireland. It's not on in Ireland. <laughs> so, oh, oh. Yeah. So <laughs> they're doing relatively well. Yeah. Um, so you, search. It just came out in the UK, though. It's on That's Sky. Right. Sky Atlantic. That's right. Yeah. So you're going to be the man again in England. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's that Pogues geezer now? I know. <laughs> I'm sure he's doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> I presume if we really look for him, we get him down the gym or whatever. Yeah. So uh, are we knocking it on the head? We was going to play a... Uh, it's been such a treat being here. Thin Lizzy. Yeah. Oh, it, thin Lizzy indeed. Ah, be Jesus. Before we take off, we do need to give away a pair of tickets for a Nine Inch Nails if you want to do that now. Oh, nice. Okay, go on then. Okay, KLOS and Jonesy's Jukebox welcomes Nine Inch Nails with the Jesus and Mary chain. Two shows added at the Hollywood Palladium December 14th and 15th. Those tickets are on sale now, but we have a pair for Call It 25 at 800-955-KLOS. This is for the December 15th show, and those tickets are furnished by Live Nation. Cool. We got anyone else on this week? Don't know yet. That's a no. Just these two. Yeah, we'll come back. Know, we'll yeah. come back. J just these two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, these two meaning Chris O'Dowd and Davey Holmes <laughs> in the show Get Shorty on uh, Epics. Epics. I can't get that in my head, man. It sounds too much like Netflix. <laughs> I'll have a word. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? It's it's been such a treat being here. I listen to the show all the time, and it never even occurred to me that you all did it naked. But now that I'm here and it's so hot, I can understand why. See, <laughs> thanks for coming by, guys. It was really good. I know I seem like I'm taking a piss, but I'm not. I've been no. away for a week, and I got and got me chops down. Uh, I'm totally honored and excited to be yeah. here. So thank you. So thanks for coming. Thanks and, for having uh, us. We're going to leave you with Tin Lizzy doing uh, <laughs> Black Rose. See you tomorrow. <laughs>